my brothers and sisters, remember this. Anything which Allah gives us and anything which He takes from us is always for a reason. Either He is testing you with a lot of wealth or a lot of blessings or He's testing you with, with lack of it. Or He has a plan, something that's going to happen in the future. Or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is teaching you something, a reason for you to learn and grow. Many times Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes away things from us. And this is what Allah says in the Quran. We shall truly and surely try you with a little bit of fear in your life. You're going to be afraid sometimes. A little bit of hunger in your life. A little bit of loss of wealth in your life. A little bit of loss of lives from your family members, from your friends, from your children, your spouses. And a little bit of luxury and fruits. وَبَشِّرِ sabirin. Give good news to those who are persevering, patient all the way. The ones who when a calamity befalls them, at the time of the calamity they say, إِنَّا لِلَّهِ We have always belonged to Allah. وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ And to Allah we shall return. In the last hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, he says, الدُّنْيَا سِجْنُ الْمُؤْمِنِ وَجَنَّةُ الْكَافِرِ this dunya is like a prison for the believer and it is a paradise for the disbeliever. Why? He says, because a mu'min anticipates the hereafter, whereas a disbeliever, generally speaking, does not have that yearn, that anticipation as what the mu'min